Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Hey, one, how y'all doing? I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while. I hope you all like what you see. If you do, please hit that big old subscribe button. I truly would be grateful. 
Also, I'm thinking about making a Discord for my channel. Also, um, I was doing uh, Twitch streams about a month ago. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't do that. I'll try doing it again next weekend. I posted it on the community on my YouTube channel page. But anyways, this is Banishers. Ghosts of New Eden trial version. So, let's get to it. Now, this is a game I've been wanting to play. I can't remember the last time but I was unsure if I should actually buy it. I've heard that this game plays a lot like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. That is what I heard. And, well, the compass seems an awful lot like it. But, we shall see, right? Let's see, let's see. I mean, the intro looked pretty good. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. They say they came in June. No, was it? Yeah, June. Why is it so snowy? I wasn't really paying attention. I think I should have paid attention. Okay, that's our run. Okay, we just gotta push forward and... Okay, nothing too serious. I don't know much about this game. All I know is right now we're playing as the Master. And Red is... The Apprentice. Funny thing is I actually had a dog named Red. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go he, he was a collie. Falling down house. Oh, I can take. Yeah, definitely should. Uh, definitely should Looks keep an enough. eye on materials. Um, Antea. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, I can press R1 to skip. I'm sorry. Hold R1. Watch out! Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Yeah, and you made him into your lover, which I can break my way through here. Here? Or are you talking about over here? <clears throat> over here. Yeah, I should tell me over here. R1 to strike. Well, okay, okay, that's our heavy hit, and R1s are, R2s are heavy, and R1 is our light attack. Okay. So it's definitely not plain, I mean, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty graphics. I heard good things about this game. Like, it's, it's supposed to play like The Witcher. You know, all your... All your consequences. Everything you do has consequences. Oh. Oh, what did I just do? Did I just heal myself? How do I? Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that's... I didn't, I didn't mean to heal myself again. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Hey, I get... 
These spectres watching the road. Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Okay, got some lore. Let's see. I'm so used to pressing square to attack and triangle or heavy attack from the Witcher. has me a little concerned that I don't know how long I'm going to be able to play this Not, or make a second part since this is a trial version and it didn't say like hey you're gonna have this long you're gonna have this long to play it or this you know, so I'm thinking it might just be an hour long or maybe two hours I really really hard to say Ghosts are called wanderers. Behind huh? you. Like I said, I don't know much about this game. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. I also saw the trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows. If I if I was younger, I'd be hyped for it. But since they didn't show any gameplay or anything at all, like the cinematic, they just saw the cinematic trailer. They didn't show any gameplay for it. If I was younger, I'd be so hyped for it. But now that I've learned learned about not trusting just the cinematic trailers and see what type of and rather see what type of gameplay it. so for that game for Assassin's Creed Shadows I might wait for the for some gameplay So we got Vantage Gauge. Okay, okay. Oh, we got more than three. Oh, I'm pressing X for Dodge. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Leather. More lower. I left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Well, hopefully we'll be able to find out within the hour. Hopefully. We shall see. More lore. So I'm also planning on playing the Uncharted 4. I just saw gameplay and that got me really interested in playing it again. So I might do the entire Uncharted series. I don't know. I'll think about it. I know I got other things going on. I'm going to have to restart uh, Final Fantasy because I lost all my footage. So I'm going to have to restart on everything on that. Oh, our heavy or oh, charge attack. Hold for a charge attack. Cause this guy's tough. You do not belong here. Oh, I I'm so used to pressing circle to collect things like from the Witcher, which the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. 
then pressing X. We so should be able to just jump down and see what's down there, but no. Or go up that way. Also, I am going to be bringing uh, I guess you can call it Eve. Or, I'm sorry, Stellar Blade Demo. I did it on my uh, Twitch stream. And I, I, I'll, I'll do it again on here. I actually did it when the release of the Trailer came, or the demo came out. That all goes badly for the case. And I I thought about Situation doing it when it came out. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I thought about it doing it on when it came out, but I decided not to. Because YouTube YouTube was being a dick on views. But I had a friend saying, Oh, I hope you're not done doing YouTube. And so here we are. And it's it's something to do. Some growing settlement. Not a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? I like sharing videos with all of you. And I gotta do something, right? When we oh. get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. I'll have to read a sprint. We kind of figured that out earlier. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Can I go this way? Always. Oh, it is. It's letting me go this way now. Who the hell bombs their own clothes? They were leaving because of disease and starvation. They thought it was doomsday. I saw the same thing happen at home. I'm kind of, you know, just trailing off because I'm exploring. And, oh, got more lore. People are leaving. The town and, is emptying. Stay on your And, yeah, if you guys are wondering why I didn't show that on video, I, I'd never done that. I never showed lore. I know some of you want to see the lore, but I don't really do that on my channel. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they burned their crops and ran out of food, then they probably eat the horses. Why? I mean, and I kind of get it. If you're hungry enough, you'll eat horses, just like they they say. If you're hungry enough, you'll eat your own dog. Which <laughs> that would never come in my case. I would never eat my dogs. And I mean, I'd never. I'd fucking find something else to eat. I I would eat bugs. I would eat insects. I would never. Eat my dogs. I can't jump over. Oh, okay, that's a guard. Well, that that been nice to uh, know during combat. Figure out what. I'm like, hey, this is guard. Press all one for guard. It doesn't even tell you how to dodge either. Okay, that's just, we're, that's, you know, our, where we need to go, you know, our location map, I guess you could say. The marker. New Eden Town. New Eden Town discovery. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Can I break this stuff? Nope.
It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. Investigation. Area of investigation. Shackles. We're outside. What's to invest? Well, this is 16th century, so maybe they had shackles outside. I mean, there are some times you have shackles outside, I guess. About to get information, wouldn't you have it in your torture, in your dungeon, torturing them? Then wouldn't you, wouldn't you rather do that indoors than outdoors? The inn, the docks, cemetery. Oh, nope, she wasn't going to let us in. Oh, and it's locked. Yeah, and the canyon is locked. All around here is investigation. Oh, nope. No longer investigation point. Huh. So these are the docks. No fire starts on its own. Not in this cold. Something must have given a helping hand. Can I jump over? Why can't I jump over this? It'd be so simple. Ah, uh, this game logic. So that was the logbook. No, wait, they said this was January. No, did you see this? You know, Jan you know what? I should have paid attention. What they were saying. I know they said something about June and January. I think he said, if this is June, I'd hate to see January. I think that's what he said. This is a trial version. I wasn't really quite paying attention to it. Nice. Got some money. What is this? Oh, we, we should ask someone where to find the inn. No, we. I know where to go to find the inn. Calm down. Also, you know, look at your damn, well, she doesn't know this, but you just got to look at our freaking compass where we got to go. Oh, that's right. I can't go that way. Go this way. I want to explore a little bit before getting to the main quest. It'd make it so much simpler if we were able to freaking jump. It would. It'd, it's locked. I think it's going to be locked until we get to the come to the end. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Be the banishers, then. Come too late. I'm sorry. 
But if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGrath. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Well, we can... Let's say where's the end first, I guess. Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building next to the gallows. Next to the gallows? You you got the inn next to the gallows? Uh, well, I guess you can't do, have many too many bar fights. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. The curse? You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Wow, rude. A little rude with that comment. I know, she says it's by the gallows. I'm still exploring. Oh wait, you know what? I think I came from over here. I did. Like, what the hell? Like, what? I did. I, I came from over here. So the end is next to the gallows. That must be the end right over here. I mean, it's a pretty big place. There's the inn. That's, yeah. Oh, and it says N right on it, too. Oh, and here's the gallows. Hang on, I want to see what's over here. Anything I can loot? Oh, it's locked. Like I said before, I know that our actions has consequences in this game, just like The Witcher 3. Which I think is kind of neat. Definitely something to check out. So, let's see. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Or as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGrath. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. 
I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left, but it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him, and we do not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said, rupture, strangery, or sadness. Guesses, all. As a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, when many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I 
think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that. I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands. For Charles. All right. For Charles. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same, because we must. Aye. Because we must. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. So that was interesting. We gained quite a bit of information on that one. Uh, as we know, Charles has died. Charles was killed by this demon, or some type of poltergeist. And if I can, I will do a part two of the trial. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, it's a two. I got the trial for two hours. Hopefully. I mean, I'm already in interested in this story so far. I'm already, it's already gotten, got me intrigued. Though I might change the control settings a little bit, you know, from, um, from R1 to square, you know, like the Witcher. Because I, I don't like it being R1 and R, R2. And square is heal. Which I just freaking pushed by accident. Who knows? Let's read. More lore. Alright. I think it would be more interesting if this game was, oh, was a lot like The Witcher. Other than the choices you make in the game. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. So. It's, uh. These, these people are helpless. People have no idea what they're up against. I wouldn't call them idiots. I'd say more they're helpless. Let's talk. So. He's done listening to Fairfax's prattling. That man turns a pretty phrase, and does so to the exclusion of all else. Tell me, Captain, 
What does your rank signify? Militia? I maintain the train band. I also anticipate threat. Natives, brigands, the French and other monsters. The curse, though, that's a whole different kettle of shite. Not even poor Davenport saw that one coming. Any thoughts on the origins of the curse? None useful. I'm a military man. I'm no dark artist. I'll take that as a gentle jab. You don't believe in my work. I can tell you're a woman of talent and capability. I respect that. The rest of it, that's your remit, not mine. Me? I'm the old guard. You and your Scots green on your the hope. You'd best prevail. We'll be back. I'll be here. Unless I'm not. We should what do you mean by that? Down. Unless you're not. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. Meet Davenport at her house. Talk to him. Out of my way. You're just sitting there. How am I in your way? Damn it. Oh, we were just over here. His house is next to the gallows. Oh no. So. No, it's over here. Okay, I, I was thinking the the house. His house is uh, right next to the gallows. This must be his house. Andrea, Red. Come in. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. 
Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? So the captain... We'll find the way. So the captain has lost close people to him. Family, close friends. That's why he's so sad. That's why he... He is what he is. Okay, more lore, more inspecting, some lore. Interesting, interesting. So the reason I don't show the lore is mostly because I'm not on my Elgato. And I, I just simply don't have the time in the, vid in the video to show the lore. So I just quickly go through it. Then I, I, I cut it out. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. I wonder if we have like a witcher sense or some type of sense. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Ah, so she's a pianist. Yeah. Can't fully, uh, you know, disregard your talents or your habit or hobbies, I should say. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The Saint Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Mr. Bachelor, huh? Wait, is that his name or... That's just who they call him because he's a bachelor. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. If you guys don't know, my dad did die about five years ago. And some of his stuff is still here. At my... I should say here. I don't know why I said here. It's still at my, my mother's house. And it's like he's never left there. But it's his stuff is still there. Of course, though, I still have some, I have some of his stuff too. But yeah, it, it with time, with time, as they say. Though sometimes it's not, it's never easy. It can open. Do I want to open? Isn't this the way we came to? Yeah, that's where we, I think that's the exit.
I don't want to exit. At least, not Charles yet. Is still here, and Esther is completely destroyed. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Honestly, I do not know about that. I've never had any encounters with, well, I should say I never had any interactions with ghosts. I can't really say. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God, he's a good man. Yeah, God's good, God's great. Always remember that, God is good, and God is great. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. An That's from old the chess set. set. With. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Chest. I remember my cousin tried teaching me chest. I was never good at it. I'm good at checkers, but I'm not really good at chest. A wig? Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. More lore. Let's see if we got any more lore. So yeah, it was small lore. Nothing. Just it just shows that it's it's a book. Okay. So will we banish our first ghost in the first video? I'm hoping, cause I only got like six minutes, five minutes left. So let's see. Charles's notes mentioned Job. Chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm. Yeah, you dropped something right here. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Interesting. Oh, we didn't even look at this. Let's inspect this. It's a map. That's basically what that is. It's a map. Do we have anything else to inspect? We looked at that. Looked at that. I know we're supposed to look through a verse. Oh, I gotta inspect the bedroom. Let's see. Only got four minutes left. A brooch. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. You think? But the wife could have moved some stuff around. I mean, you never know. And the bookcase. That's our bookcase. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? You actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Let's see. Alright, we got a verse here, and this was just a letter. What do we have? Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. Yeah, that could and have made him manifest. Now that we know that, where he might be back. Exactly, that we might be. investigate the cemetery where he was found. That might be why he doesn't have 
rest. He's not resting in peace because his wife never said goodbye. She never said her farewell to her husband. So it, it's her regret of not saying goodbye that's keeping him here. That she couldn't bear and saying goodbye to him. That's harsh. Well, I shouldn't say that's harsh. It's it's sad. It's sad having to say goodbye to your loved ones. I don't know why I said harsh. It's it's sad. So, our hour is almost up for, for this video. Hopefully, I have another hour to do for this video or for the for this uh, trial version. I am interested in this game already. I'm interested in the plot. So, who knows? I might buy it. I might buy it when it's on sale. We'll see. So, hopefully I can get a part two. Hopefully I got another hour left of this. Uh, the trial version of it. We shall see. Until then, I'll see you all later. Make sure you hit that big old subscribe button. Until then, see you then.